This week, the video conferencing tool Google Meet became completely free and accessible to everyone. Initially, many of the features were only available for G Suite users. However, today I'm excited to share that now everyone has access to this powerful and user-friendly video conferencing tool directly from your free Gmail account. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I'm gonna to guide you through how to use Google Meet. I will show you how to both host and join a meeting, and I'll also guide you through all the amazing features within Google Meet that have recently been made available to everyone. Now before we dive in and if you get value from this Google Meet tutorial, please leave a like and a comment down below and if you're new here today, consider subscribing to stay updated with new and actionable videos designed to help you and your business thrive online. And with that said, let's jump over to my computer and let's get started. Alright, now before I show you how to host a meeting and join a meeting, an existing meeting, and also how to schedule a meeting using Google Calendar, I first want to share with you the few different ways that you can actually access Google Meet. Now the great thing about this video conferencing tool is you don't actually need a Gmail or Google account. You can access it through Meet google.com and that's going to take you to this website here and as you can see premium video meetings now free for everyone which is super exciting and down here you can start a meeting you can enter a meeting id if you've been sent a meeting invitation you can add that here and join and then you can schedule a meeting now you can also head over to your gmail account and here you can just head down to the left hand side of your gmail account and click start a meeting where you can host a meeting or you can join an existing meeting by clicking join a meeting. So very simple and straightforward. And as you can see, this is new. This has only been released this week and it's an absolute game changer and alternative to Zoom, Skype and other video conferencing tools. Now to join an existing meeting, the host will send you an invitation like this to your email. And all you need to do is click join meeting or copy this URL here and head back to meet.google.com and then all you need to do is paste that meeting ID in here and click join meeting. So very simple and straightforward to join an existing meeting. Now let's guide you through how to start and host a meeting. So all you need to do is head over here and click start a meeting. And here you'll see your video display show up. Now don't worry, you're not live. No one can see you. There's no participants. This is before you actually enter the meeting. This is so you can kind of uh, change your settings, make sure you look nice, make sure your background's nice, uh, and just make sure you're ready to essentially enter the meeting. So let's, let's look at all the settings that you can change here before we enter the live meeting. So we come down here, you can actually uh, mute yourself. So turn off your microphone by clicking here. Then you can come across here and you can actually turn off your camera. So to turn off your camera and then you can enter the meeting if you don't want your camera to show, your face to show. So we'll turn that back on. And then you can come over here and click these three dots where it says more options. And over here you can actually turn on real-time captions, which is a great feature that I haven't seen in any other video conferencing tool, which we'll talk more about uh, when we're actually in the meeting. Then you can come down to settings. You can choose your default mics. This is your built-in microphone, or you can choose um, an external mic if you have one. Again, with speakers, you can use the built-in headphones, or you can choose an external if you have one. Now, to test if your audio is working, just click test, and you'll hear a sound. Now you won't be able to hear it because this is just a tutorial and it's coming through my speaker, but if you hear that, that means you can hear the audio when you're in the meeting. Then again, you can come over to video and you can choose an external camera if you have one or use your built-in camera. Then you can change the resolution here to, from high definition to standard. We're gonna select high definition uh, for sending resolution because we've got fast internet. And then down here again, you can choose high definition, standard, standard def, one video at a time, or audio only. If you have slow internet and you don't necessarily have to show your face and you can click audio only. Um, if you have, you know, relatively slow internet or it's not the best, you can also go for 360p, um, which is just a lower definition. So we can click that here, but we'll go for high definition. And when you're happy with all your settings here, then you can come down and click done. Now to join the meeting, all you need to do is click join or you can click present. So we'll quickly go through uh, what present is. So if you click present here, 
This basically allows you to share your screen. So you have the option to share your tabs, uh, your Chrome tabs. So we've got a few open here. We can select these and that's going to show this particular tab, if I select this one, to all the participants within this meeting. Then I can come across to your entire screen and I can share the entire screen with my participants or I can use an application window. And then when you're ready to share the particular uh, screen with your audience, with your participants, then just click share down here. Now you can also share your audio if you like and then click share. So we're going to cancel out of that. Again, you just need to click present now, select your options and click share. So that is presenting, very straightforward. You can also come down here and you can copy this ID here and send it to your participants, the individuals you want to join your meeting. So just click copy joining info and that's going to be copied to your clipboard and you can paste that into your email to send to your participant or to messenger or any other um, communication medium. So to end this, just come down here and click leave call and then return to home. And then what we'll do is we'll click start meeting again. Now it's important to note that this is the same display you'll see if you want to join a meeting. So right now we're hosting a meeting, we're about to create a meeting, but this is the same interface that you're going to see if you want to join a meeting. Okay, so it's not live just yet. This is where you can play around with your settings to make sure everything is working before you join the meeting. So we're happy with all the settings. Let's join the meeting with video by clicking join now. And as you can see, because we're the host, we have the option to add people by copying this meeting URL here, or we can come down here and add people from our contacts. So this is going to connect to our email and you can enter uh, a name down here and you can click invite. So I'm going to invite this individual here and click send email. Now remember the participant I just invited to this meeting, all they need to do is click on their email and click enter meeting and they will be added to this meeting. Now as you can see the individual that I just invited to participate in my meeting has joined. If you can see down below on the left hand side they've joined with their audio off so they're muted and their video is on however it's just a black display because this is a video tutorial I don't want to show anyone else's face so it's just black at the moment but what I can do is come up here and I can actually click on myself to pin me as the speaker so I've just pinned my video to as the main speaker um, for this meeting so everyone's going to be able to see me now if we come over here we can see that there's two participants if I click here as you can see I'm the pinned speaker so uh, you can see the little pin icon here there's two participants they are currently muted I can come up here and I can add more people by clicking here and adding their email and then clicking send so I'm happy with just two people for now then you can actually navigate over here and start chatting with individuals within the meeting so you can send messages down below here now if we head back to people and we click on the screen here we can also bring up the chat by clicking this chat here again if we want to invite we click here and if we no longer want to be pinned we can click unpin here but we'll pin ourselves back up at the moment then if we navigate down to the left hand side we've got meeting details where we can copy this ID and send it to our participants if we want them to join our meeting. Then we can again mute ourselves if we want so turn off our microphone. We can leave the call in the meeting. Uh, then we can turn off our camera if we like just by clicking this and then as you can see I have this motion here which just shows that I am talking. So we'll turn our camera back on. And then if we navigate over here, you can actually turn on live captions. Now live captions are extremely powerful. I haven't seen this in any other uh, video conferencing tool, but as you can see here, everything I'm saying is going to be down below the screen. So the video screen itself becomes smaller and the captions are displayed down in this black bar below. Only I can see these captions. Everyone else can decide to turn on captions if they want to see um, these captions and this is just great for those that have a hearing disability or just want to read um, what's happening in the meeting you know read the captions rather than listen so that's fantastic and to turn that off we can just come down here and click turn off captions and the screen's going to enlarge again we can come across and we can present if we want to present anything we can come over here and click your entire screen so we can present whatever's on our screen to all the participants we can choose a specific window 
or a Chrome tab. So this is best for video and animation as it has down here. So a Chrome tab if you have one up on your computer. Then come down here to the three bars for more options. And again, we can come over here. We've talked about settings. We've talked about turn on captions. We can also change the layout of the video. So if I click change layout, here you can see auto. So auto is, is automatic. Google Meet has decided how it wants to display the video and that is automatic. And click sidebar and basically what that's going to do is have the speaker here and then everyone else on the side. Okay, so this could be the pinned individual uh, in this big box here in the main screen. And then these little side boxes on the right hand side are the other participants. Then you have spotlight. Again, this just shows the entire screen as the person that's pinned or speaking. And then we have the tiled layout where everyone's video is the same, the same size. As you can see, these little boxes are videos. So you can't actually pin or have a presenter as the entire screen is filled up with everyone's videos. So this is great if you have many people in your meeting. Spotlight is great if you just have one presenter and sidebar is also a great option. So you can simply select your layout here. So what I'll do is I'll exit out of that. And then again, if you want to change your settings, just click on more options and click settings and you can change and adjust your settings again here. So we'll click done. And then we'll come up here and we'll pin ourselves so we're the main speaker. And that is basically everything you need to know to get started with hosting a meeting and joining a meeting. So it's very straightforward, very basic, but also extremely powerful, especially with the captions, which I haven't seen on the likes of Zoom or Skype or Google Hangouts. Now, if we end the meeting, we come down here and click end meeting and rate how good the audio and video was. Now, the final thing we want to quickly go over is how to schedule a video meeting from Google Calendar. So all we need to do is click schedule a video meeting here and that's going to bring up Google Calendar. Now, all you need to do is pop in a title here. Then you want to add your date and the duration of the meeting. Then you want to come down here and, you know, you can repeat this meeting annually, um, you know, weekly, monthly. And then you can come down here and you can add your location, you can add a description. Then you can pop over here and add your guests, your participants from your contacts. So because I'm using Gmail, these are my contacts in my Gmail account. So I'm going to click Stuart. There we go. And then you want to come down here and you want to modify guest permissions. So can they modify the event? Yes or no? I don't want anyone to be able to modify my event because I am the host. Can participants invite other people? I don't want them to be able to do that either. So I'm going to untap that and then see the guest list. Can they see the guest list? Um, yeah, I don't mind if they see who's invited to this meeting. And then when you're happy, just click save. And then you'll see this notification pop up. Would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? So when you're ready to send the scheduled meeting, just click send. And that's going to send this scheduled meeting to individuals with the link to the meeting and they can click that when the meeting is on and they can access the meeting that way. So they will receive that in their email. So all you need to do is click send. So we're going to click dismiss and then we're going to exit out of this and click discard. And that is how you can get started with Google Meet. And there we have it. That is everything you need to know to get started with Google Meet. Now remember, all you need to do is head over to your Gmail account or head over to meet.google.com to host, join, or schedule a meeting. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you got value out of today's video, then please don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you have any questions, again, make sure to leave them down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, and we will see you in next week's video. Take care.